Did you know that except for identical twins, it is very unlikely for two individuals to have the same DNA pattern? It is the small difference in base pair sequences of DNA that make the phenotypic appearance of each individual unique. The human genome has about 3 billion base pairs. Therefore, it would be a time-consuming and expensive task to find out the genetic difference between two individuals as it would require comparing two sets of 3 billion base pairs. An easier and quicker solution to comparing DNA sequences is DNA fingerprinting, which is a test to classify and analyze DNA or the genetic information. In human beings, 99% of DNA base sequences are identical and are known as the bulk genomic DNA. The remaining 1% DNA base sequences differ and are present as a small stretch of repeated sequences known as repetitive DNA. DNA fingerprinting identifies the differences in this region. To separate both genomic as well as repetitive DNA, the process of density gradient centrifugation is carried out. As satellite DNA is lighter and bulk DNA is heavier, they get separated on the basis of their density. Graphical representation shows bulk genomic DNA as a major peak and repetitive DNA as smaller peaks known as satellite DNA. Satellite DNA is highly repetitive and consists of non-coding sequences. Based on the length of the segment, base composition and number of repetitive units, satellite DNA can be classified as mini-satellite DNA and micro-satellite DNA. Mini-satellite is a section of DNA which has a variable number of tandem repeats or VNTR. It has sequences of 15 to 100 base pairs repeated hundreds or thousands of times. On the other hand, microsatellite is a section of DNA which has tandem repeats of shorter sequences of 2 to 10 base pairs. Both mini-satellite and microsatellite DNA act as molecular markers in the DNA fingerprinting technique. These satellite DNA do not show any impact on reproducing ability and exhibit a high degree of DNA polymorphism or genetic variations within a population. DNA polymorphism is the result of mutations in either somatic cells or germ cells which accumulates over generations. DNA polymorphism is the guiding principle behind genetic mapping and therefore helps in the DNA fingerprinting technique. The DNA fingerprinting technique was developed by Alec Jeffries. This technique involved southern blot hybridization which used radio labeled VNTR as a probe. VNTR is a small sequence of DNA arranged tandemly in several copy numbers which varies from one chromosome to another in an individual. A very high degree of polymorphism is seen in the number of these repeats, due to which the size of the VNTR varies from 0.1 to 20 kilobytes. Let's now study the steps involved in the DNA fingerprinting technique. First, the DNA is isolated and then digested by restriction endonucleases which results in DNA fragmentation. Next, these DNA fragments are separated with the help of gel electrophoresis. and then transferred to synthetic membranes like nylon or nitrocellulose.
This step is followed by the hybridization of the DNA fragments using a radio labeled VNTR probe. Finally, the hybridized DNA fragments are detected by a technique called autoradiography conducted using an X ray film. Hybridization with the VNTR probe results in an autoradiogram which produces several bands of different sizes. These bands provide a characteristic pattern to an individual's DNA and vary from one individual to another except in identical or monozygotic twins. Today the accuracy of the DNA fingerprinting technique has further improved due to the advent of the polymerase chain reaction or PCR where multiple copies of a single DNA sequence can be made. DNA fingerprinting has also advanced due to the use of different types of DNA probes. DNA fingerprinting is used in many areas. It utilizes DNA as an identification tool and helps in forensic applications such as crime investigation. It also helps determine genetic and population diversity, forms the basis of paternity testing in case of parentage disputes, and also helps in the study of evolution and speciation. In this way, DNA fingerprinting has revolutionized the process of DNA testing as it can identify the minute differences between various DNA samples.